So today I want to show you how you can turn this one, this shiny little crap, into something like that. Turn it into your side. How you can make it look dirty, old, and used. Can be used. <laughs> yes. Okay. But first, how you get that fucking chrome? You need. I made it out of craft foam, or in German it's called Moskumi, and. This whole crown was made out of one piece, uh, it's called an A3 sized paper with a thickness of 2 millimeters. Then the craft foam is very flexible and bendable so, and this one is quite hard so you need to cover it with uh, so I covered it with few wood glue. So, good. With wood glue, it's it gives a special thickness, and you can use it also on the warbler. There you can, there you get the smooth surface, and even here you can get a smoother surface. But with the brush strokes, it's yeah. Looks kind of old, but can, here I want that if I want that effect, that it won't be a shiny plate or something like that. Then um, you cover it all in the whole crown with wood glue. You have to pay attention uh, or look how many layers do you want to have, because much more layer, much stiffer it would be. So here I have about um, th uh, three or four layers of wood glue, so it is still bendable and you can form it on your head. So it's it's not that uh, really metal crown or something like that. But here in the peaks, they are very stiff can bend them a little yeah then in the after you have covered all with wood glue you need to prime it or paint it I used a who what's this called a gold bronze color because it I like it much more than a real gold yeah so, if you are uh, now, caught, you need black to make the details. Um, I have here two kind of blacks. This is a iron oxide black, and this one is a whoops, is a oxide black, also oxide, because this one is the. For me, it's the blackest black, and some blacks you can, if you stroke them with a brush, you can see that it it is a little bit green or blue or some a color you don't want to have on it. And this black is black. You don't have that green shining or something like that. Okay, above again in Amsterdam. Uh, all acrylics because for me this one is has a good density and yeah I'm very satisfied with it and it's my first product I bought so then you also need here I have a Lucas acrylics today again a gold paint uh, acrylic for the highlights in the end because I use a technique where uh, quite the most gold shiny thing goes away and then you have to do uh, you need to add more highlights 
in that it works and looks good in the end. So that was about the colors and everything else. Then for pa painting you need a glass of water, uh, different brushes, brushes in every kind of way. You can use any one you, you like. I use this ones with I don't know how they call how they are called but I like this ones more than when they are so in yeah like this one these are more for highlighting spray I use this more this one more for highlighting and this is for the really black for the weathering effect then you need a cardboard or something else you can uh, put on the colors and whoop, don't forget the toilet paper this is for brush off the black color because the method I use is yeah quite expensive or time rubbering method so you have because you have um, yeah I want you look you, sh you will see it so we gonna start first um, we start with the black <laughs> so no come on. Squeeze it a little bit, shake it a little bit. So, so now you see that nice black dot or whatever. So, now I use this brush, the biggest I have. So now I can't explain a lot because um, I'm just doing it how I see, think and for the main reason don't use a lot of color of the black because you can now oh, I will show you. you can now brush it over or find that hole the tiny holes fill it with black and now you see I color everything with black. So Now we have covered the whole thing with a layer of black. We can use the toilet paper. And but first you have to wait a little bit until the the color is a little bit dried because you want to uh, brush it away now. So, and for example, these are our two dogs. 
You may have heard him uh, often today. So, now it's a little bit dry, so you can brush off. And don't use pressure, because now you have filled the bungles and the holes with a black color. You don't want to rub it off. Okay, now we have the most, uh, the, the flat parts are now a little bit shinier. You can use more pressure to, to get the gold. Top of it. So, whoa. Yeah, as you see, it's a, a very dirty way you can do it, but I'm very satisfied with the product, with the result. So, And hopefully you can see it now. You have the well. Oh fuck! Here in the in the under in the under parts under sections, you have even the black color, and the parts that are standing out, you brush it a little bit away. So you have even that texture or the the little black lines that makes it looks old and dirty and whatever so now I'm doing the whole crown and you can watch it or skip it as you wish so let's go The main thing to do that weathering effect is that you have black colors in these corners or even in these ones because there is the dirt in the real thing so you have to do blacken it out and brush it gently away so you have that 3D effect much more and it looks old and dirty dirty so 
and if you do it with the toilet paper you get this screen this kind of scratches in it and it looks much older <coughs> so now your crown is covered in black and get that old vintage and old touch you can do the highlights Now I use a gold, don't need much because, yeah, you don't need too much because you don't want to get it as shiny as before. Okay, now use a small brush, take a little bit of the color and then you have to look where are the outstanding points, so this is now shiny but this one can get also a little bit of shiny thing Now your turn is finished and now you have to cover it with um, a claw lock. Oh, how does it say? I don't know how do how do I say that in English? A blank lack or vernis transparent? Uh, I don't know. So and then the crown is finally finished. Okay, and with this technique you can do several things you can make them look older here you have the example of my armor for uh, Denmark historical it's the same way I use here only here I use not so much black and brush it the most away and here is everything covered in Klarlock or blank lac so you get that shiny thing, shiny look. Then even as you may see in the beginning, you can also do uh, that millennium ring. And yeah, here I use also not as much as here because this is, I wanna ha make it look really old. And this is, yeah, the thing for Bakura. Then I have also the brass 
Oops, no, no. You can also do that. This. It's exactly the same way with here the black colors and everything. Even here, it looks a little bit dirty and old and used because for me, it, nothing is uglier than uh, if you do something and it's so shiny, so bright, and yeah, I think that really ugly. For me, it has to be. Every time something dirty, something a little bit of black, and yeah, it has to look used. Yeah, that's my thing, and how I look my things on. So, here I have <laughs> example of every of the much things I do, I've done, and use that weathering effect, and I hope I could help you and bring your project a little bit further and please if you have any questions leave a comment below I am very happy for of every little comment you leave on you leave and yeah thank you for sharing it thank you for like my page for over 180 followers and likers and yeah it's in quite stunning and and I wish you all a happy new year and maybe you could do something now in that winter holidays or even if you have time to do something and yeah it was fun to do that little tutorial um, one person did recommend it every day I see her and yeah, now you have it, Melly. You have your weathering tutorial. So, if you want to have also tutorial, tutorial, please uh, leave a comment below so I can prepare something when I do it. Or, poof, yeah, make it when I have time. And so, uh, yeah, I wish you a happy new year again. And hopefully you get you you got a lot of pres uh, presents for Christmas and yeah so now I have to end and yeah. <laughs> have a nice weekend have a nice day have a nice cosplay life and everything else so see you soon with yours tada